in our company data access component. Let's go add a, add a function that's going to update company information. So we'll make it a public static bool called update company. I'm going to take string company ID. String company name, string company email, and a string company size. Bool success equals false. Let's create our SQL update. Company set company name equal company name company email equal company email. Size where company ID equals company ID, and I'm not using. Connection. Add our parameters. I added the other parameters. It should look like this. And I also added the int rows effective command dot execute non query success equals rows affected equals one. And then let's return success. So in the code behind of our default.aspx file, let's create a row updating method. Company grid view row updating object sender grid view update. Let's get the data that has been changed. String company ID text box row. Oops. Company grid view dot rows e dot row index dot sales zero dot find control for edit company ID text box. And I did the same for the company name, company email, and company size. Please note the different values in the cells and the different control names. So let's try to update it within a try catch. So 
if company DAC dot update company uh, company ID company name company email company size status label dot text equal company has been updated sorry successfully company grid view dot edit index equals negative one and we'll redisplay the company information in the default.aspx file, let's go add on row updating equals company grid view row updating. So let's go create a delete company method in our company data access component. be public static return a bool it's going to be called delete company it's going to take a string company id create a return value create our sql statement Delete from company where company ID equals parameter company ID. Using our SQL command new pass it to SQL, pass it our connection. parameter Check for success. And then return success.